all right friends welcome back to another video on building multi-purpose laravel and v3 application and in this video we'll be fixing one bug is one of our viewers have noticed one bug uh, in our appointment listing page so first of all let me show you what the bug is over here uh, we have the list of appointments right and over here we are showing the count for different status right so it is saying that currently we have six scheduled appointments four confirmed and three cancelled so now if i delete one appointment over here let's delete this schedule appointment and notice over here we have six schedule and all is 13 now if i delete this appointment let me delete it and that appointment got deleted but this count didn't got reduced right it is still showing six schedule and 13 total appointments but that is wrong but if i refresh this page then everything is okay over here but it will be better if we reduce the count immediately after someone deleted the appointment right so this is the exact issue so throughout this video we'll be fixing this issue so now let's get started okay let me open up the code editor and let me go to list appointments.view file and on our delete appointment method after the appointment is deleted successfully over here let's call the method and let me give it a name called update appointment status count and we'll pass the appointment id and now let's create this method so over here let me create that method and then it will receive the appointment id and first of all we need to get the appointment that is deleted right so let's do that part appointments dot value dot data dot find let's find the appointment whose appointment dot id whose appointment id is same as the id that we passed over here and let's get the status and let me save this as deleted appointment status so deleted appointment status now let me do console.log to show you deleted appointment status let me open up the console over here let me clear this now let's delete this schedule appointment and it got deleted and in our console we see the name is scheduled and the color is primary right and to get this status we need to call dot name over here so instead of just status let's do status dot name and then we get the deleted appointment status right and based on that status we can and decrement the count over here so let's do that let me clear this and we have the appointment status list so let's do appointment status dot value dot find and we want to find the status whose name is status dot name is same as deleted appointment status right and let's save this as status to update and here we get the appointment status to update so let me console.log to show you console.log status to update let me try this let me delete this schedule appointment and this got deleted and on our console we see the name is scheduled we get the value and count right we have the count over here and currently it is saying four but we can reduce the count so to reduce the count we can simply do status to update dot count right and we need to decrement the count minus minus and now let's try this let me delete this cancel appointment currently it is swing three so let me delete it and that reduced to two right which is perfect and over here it is also swing we have total nine appointments let me try this again we have two cancelled and total nine appointments let me delete it and now we have one cancelled and eight total appointments and this is automatically working because we have wrapped that inside of computed function so this will work so this much for this video i hope this video was helpful for you don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i'll be uploading the videos like this so till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one